Dolcedo lives up to its name, that means sweet, for the sweetness of its landscape. Those who have well understood the meaning of this valley and its hamlets are undoubtedly the foreigners who participate in making the area more and more beautiful and hospitable. Listen to what they say. The western Ligurian territory is beautiful and find there what they don't have. Here there are ancient hamlets, olive groves, the sea, the mountains, and everything can be reached in a short time. In addition, there is no mass tourism, and everyone can search for what suits them best. Those who have a long sight cannot agree more. Also because here the cult of traditions has found several passionate and competent people. Our storyteller is building a very special museum, the Hay Museum. Ever since I was a boy, I was very attached to Monte Faudo, where I used to go in July and August with my father to cut hay. I later discovered uh, through personal research that there were still 600 mules in Dolcedo in the early years of the 20th century. These large numbers of animals were used both in the olive groves for the small local trade, for the work of oil mills where mules turned the millstone, and finally for the larger scale trade with Piedmont and the north. The mules had to eat, hence the importance of hay. Without hay, it was as if we no longer had petrol for cars today. At this point, since there are only a couple of minor hay museums in Italy, I decided to make one as complete as possible. Dolcedo will also surprise you with the immense artistic heritage it possesses, and which, in an almost random way, continues to provide tasty surprises. In 2016, with the help of a lady, we were dusting the top of an old wardrobe from the 18th century. As we were cleaning, we noticed the presence of paint on the panels and then, as we proceeded, we saw that they were painted panels. A restorer called to recover these boards returned three of them to us and we realized that they were parts of an ancient, disassembled, polyptych. Further research made it possible to identify the painter who had painted them. He was Tommaso Biazzacci, an important artist of the late 15th century. But also look at the incredible beauty of this crucifix.